We're gonna do turkey thighs on the Weber grill with cherry wood, a little bit of killer hogs, and a fraction of the time that everyone else is spending doing their turkeys. So I've never done just turkey thighs, but basically I'm gonna do them almost just like I do any other chicken thighs, guys. But this time we're gonna use killer hogs all-purpose rub, and that's mainly because there's no sugar in here and Sassy and I are, are working on a sugar-free diet. You don't have to compromise on taste, guys, and that's why I'm gonna go with the all-purpose rub. Now, what it lacks for in color, the cherry wood is gonna make up for. You just wait and see. So these turkey thighs already came trimmed and packaged from the store, and what I did is I put them in a tray, put them in the fridge skin side up for about an hour. Now, that's gonna help dry them out. You want them dry, okay, because the secret to really crunchy, delicious skin is you want to have it as dry as possible. So that's what we're doing. And that's about all the prep we're doing, guys, other than the charcoal on the Weber. All right, guys, I'm going to be using my 22-inch uh, Weber kettle uh, performer uh, with some Weber uh, charcoal baskets. You know, these come in pairs, and I'm just going to scoot them in the middle there um, just to kind of keep the uh, charcoal all in one spot. And then I'm just going to, you know, put the grate on top of it um, and then um, put the thighs you know on either side uh, and when I turn them I don't think I'm gonna turn them but uh, it'd be easy to do that way so of course I'll be using some of this beautiful cherry chunks uh, that's gonna give us not only a little bit of smoke a beautiful mahogany color but a little bit of flavor which is awesome and um, right now um, I'm bringing up some ridge uh, charcoal to temperature and um, that should be up pretty soon. So when the top there is nice and chalky, then I'm just gonna dump them into that basket there. It will be good to go. So let's get busy. Alright guys, here's the meat stick as you can see. Um, it's a pretty handy little device. It's got a uh, charger, which is also the extender. Okay, it takes a couple AA batteries right there, which uh, I've already inserted. Okay, and uh, you can press the green light to make sure you've got power. Now, uh, as with m most new devices, always charge this um, for a while. And the battery is contained inside this charger now. Um, pretty neat here. Um, most of these type of units have the transmitter, which is at the end there. Um, and this ceramic little doodad here is typically the transmitter. And, um, and then the tip, as you can see here, it's got a it's focusing, nice sharp tip, guys. And you want to put this into the thickest part of the meat as with any thermometer. Okay, so I'm going to put this onto the extender. Then you go to your app and you want to open it up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set up a cook, okay? Now, I've already done a setup here, so I'm going to go past cooks, and I've already selected turkey thighs, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now, um, it's got a lot of uh, um, preset menus, uh, different kinds of meats, and desired temperatures, so it kind of takes the guesswork out of it here. So. Now, um, they want you to insert this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay. And I'm kind of feeling around, making sure that I didn't uh, go too far. Now, there's a little machine groove on there. It tells you about how far you should go in, and the rest you should stick out. Okay, guys, here we go now. As with most charcoal grills, you don't want to leave it open too long. And these just barely fit on these guys. Look at that. Barely fit. That's okay. I'm just going to kind of put them right there. Close them up. All right, guys. So the meat stick recommends placing this extender as close as possible to the cooker. So I'm going to put that right there. And then where we left off, I'm just going to go ahead and start to cook. There we go. 
the transmitter and temperature side of the probe is actually right above that cold turkey thigh, so um, it's probably going to lag behind uh, what my tell true thermometer is actually saying, which is pretty close to 325 already. And I'm about as far as I could get inside my house from my Weber, and looks like I got great connectivity. So I'm probably a good 60 feet away at this point. And I think that's about close to the limit of what they advertised. So now with that extender, you know, I, I don't know how much farther I can go. Hi guys, quick tip. Always put the exhaust vent above your meat when you're offset cooking like this. But in this case, I got two large pieces of meat opposite. So every once in a while, you wanna rotate the kettle lid without lifting it too high. I recommend you do that about every, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. All right guys, as you can see, the, uh, the meat stick app is telling me that it's done. All right, so let's check it out here. All right guys, so I think they cooked probably about two hours, about two hours. Finally finish it off, I think right about 155 or so, that's more of a medium medium well for for turkey temperatures about 155 had a hard time with the meat stick finding the right spot to, to probe it uh, that's probably because the thighs have all kinds of little nooks and crannies and things like that so i'm going to do a much better review on that meat stick on on the like a pork belly or um you know brisket or something like that a big around. fat chunky piece of meat big fat chunky kind of like me so i can tell you i like that skin now, this was this side down pretty much the whole time. Okay, look at that, guys. So, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna go on this side right here. I'm gonna taste one of, this, one of these pieces right here. You guys, I just wanna tell you, this color is amazing. Look at that. Oh, look at that, guys. There we go. Not bad, guys. Mmm. A, a little bit salty because I think it was that AP rub here and I'm rubbing around in there. You see got that nice color from all that cherry. All right, guys, there you go. Turkey thighs right off the Weber. Tastes great. Doesn't take a whole lot, a lot of time to make. And it's perfect for Thanksgiving, guys. So. Now that I hooked you up, guys, can you hook us up? Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, either one. I don't care. Be sure to hit that subscribe button there, and we'll see you on the next one.